front right now. Four to go. There are four laps to go. Here's and Schrader and Earnhardt trying to move in. The gas mileage master on Thursday, Terry Labonte, one of them at least, uh, just pitted a lap or two ago. So Seven he slowing roll. down. 17 is by himself. Well, evidently he's out of gas. Kowicki is out of gas. Ran it lean. Down the back straightaway. He's slowing down. 17. Waldrop in front. I think he's going to take the gamble. I believe he will. What has yeah, he got to lose? To go. That's right. And the yeah. only thing they remember is first place. Kowicki dives onto pit road. Alan Kowicki brings the number seven down. It's over for him. Mike Joy. Alan Kowicki comes to a stop after running 52 laps on this tank full of gas to win the race. That's over. To count on a good finish, he'll have to put on right side tires, so this will be all too long a stop. An eternity for the young driver from Wisconsin. 13.1 seconds. Tremendous stop, but it won't win the Daytona 500. Well, Mike, maybe the problem was a flat tire instead of being out of fuel because they should not have needed to change tires here with just a lap or two to go. Wallace makes up a lap on the leader, 17. The question is, how long has Darrell Walter been out on this tank of fuel? Looking back at the leader, Darrell Walter, from Rusty Wallace's camera. Final moments of the 31st Daytona 500. Walter to the inside. I think he's running on a prayer. <laughs> he's got to be on prayer. I'll, I'll guarantee you he's saying a lot of prayers. Watch the two laps to go. Crew standing by. Hoping, praying that that car will just pick up enough gas to go these last laps. To Dave Despain. Our records indicate Walter pitted on 144, same as everybody else would have had that same 56 laps to go. If there's any magic in there, it's magic that they put in before the race. It wasn't magic on the pit stop. He is drafting all around the track off anyone he can find, trying to conserve fuel. The white flag is out. And Schrader's wife looking on. She can't Attention believe he can go that far on a tank of fuel that Darrell Walter can. He's drafting, trying to save every bit of fuel he possibly can. In the last lap, the interval is immense. It's a question of fuel. Can Walter hold out? He could have coasted now, I think. Yeah, he's about close enough now that he could coast across the start finish line and still win. Out of turn four, after 17 years of effort, the Daytona 500 belongs to Franklin, Tennessee's Darrell Waltrip. He's done it. He's done it. Second place at stake to the line. Number 25. Schrader will take second. Seven seconds back, almost eight. And right behind him comes Dale Earnhardt. Do you believe it? What an incredible finish. Hard to believe that he could go that far on the tank of fuel. Will that gas tank ever get looked at in the inspection? Mike Joy is down there with a very ecstatic Jeff, Jeff Hammond and Jeff company. Jeff Hammond surrounded by well-wishers. I can't drink.